Hey guys, so in this video, uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to change the engine oil in a 2014 Honda Accord. Uh, this is a V6 version of the engine, um, but this also applies to a lot of other cars, basically every other car. Um, all the basic tools you need is same, so um, let's get started. So there are some basic parts uh, that you need uh, to complete this task. Uh, at home so one is the um, the stand um, I got those uh, plastic stand <coughs> excuse me plastic stand from Walmart I think for 20 20 dollars a pair or 25 dollars a pair so they're really cheap and affordable and uh, you can use them every time when you need it oil change or you need to service your car under um, other things you need of course your uh, oil pan to catch the used engine oil and recycle them um, various sizes of wrenches depending on what uh, drain bolt size you have uh, I forgot my drain bolt size so I, I bought all the possible um, wrenches out so I can test it out a wrench for filter change you can also get a dedicated filter wrench for a couple dollars at Walmart and of course your oil filter um, this is a genuine Honda filter um, I bought I bought them in bulk so I can change them uh, as needed and of course the most important is engine oil uh, for my car it requires 0w20 um, but for your car it might be different if you have a different model of the Honda Accord um, so without further ado let's get started on the oil change so first thing first is of course you have to get your car lifted up so you can get under and access the oil drain bolt. Uh, that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna align uh, the jack uh, jack stand with the car's wheel and I'm gonna drive onto the wheel. And uh, of course this might help a lot if you have someone to guide you when you try to drive straight up um, but I'm just doing it myself so let's see hopefully it works All right, so a uh, very simple task um, if you just do it very slow. Uh, so now the car is raised. Uh, we'll go under and take a look at where the oil drain pan is or the drain bolt is. Um, also, make sure you warm up your engine so the oil is nice and hot. So when you actually um, release them, um, they can flow out very nicely. Um, so let's go under and take a look. And of course, uh, this helps a lot if you lay out some cardboard under the car so you don't get dirty when you get under. And also, uh, if the oil drips down, uh, the cardboard will be able to absorb them. Alright, so let's see. I'm gonna get down and be careful because there might be some hot parts, especially the exhaust, which is extremely hot especially when the car's warmed up. So find the drain bolt. Uh, let's see, where is it? All right, so um, I found the drain bolt. It's, um, for my car, it's a little to the 
uh, passenger side uh, right under a, a, the exhaust uh, valves um, but the drain bolt is right over there and it says engine oil so that's where you're gonna drain and put the drain paint under and uh, um, the next step is gonna be uh, let the oil out okay so I'm gonna go go ahead and do that all right so I'm gonna leave the camera at this angle and start uh, just draining the oil um, and I also found my um, size of my wrench uh, uh, the bolt which is uh, size 17 millimeter so um, I'm gonna go ahead and start Might be helpful uh, to get a pair of gloves since you're gonna be um, rotating the bolts um, just to make sure your hand is clean. All right, so the oil is coming out. Okay. It's pretty messy, so be careful. And just let it drain until it uh, stops dripping, and then we're put uh, we close the bolt and putting the new oil and change the filter. Uh, I didn't show you the location of the oil filter, which is right next to where the drain bolt is like it's slightly um, up in the front uh, I'll show you guys in a little bit so it's very easy to find the oil filter it's uh, it's right on the uh, right side of the drain plug the drain plug is right over here and your oil filter is right on the right side uh, <coughs> excuse me a little bit up over there so I'm gonna use my wrench and just loosen it and uh, let it drain a little more okay so while you you're draining your oil it's also helpful if you remove your oil cap engine oil cap um, supposedly it makes draining a little bit quicker but it doesn't really matter um, I guess if you open it it reminds you that <coughs> don't forget to put new oil in your engine Okay, so uh, it's almost done draining. I'm gonna actually, when it's finished, I'm gonna also uh, remove the oil filter uh, and let it continue draining for a little bit more. Um, so remember to, <coughs> excuse me, remember to remove your oil filter, the old one as well. Okay, so basically after you loosen it a little bit, you can just twist it by hand until it falls down. And be careful because it might still be very hot okay so and there might be oil still coming out from uh, the pipe over there so just be careful okay so uh, no more oils coming out from the oil filter hole and no more oil is dripping from the um, oil drain plug and now it's time for me to actually just move everything out and I'm gonna close the drain pan and there you go so that's that's a uh, old filter um, and that's your drain bolt save it uh, if the washer if the crush washer is damaged replace with a new one <coughs> I mean I never had trouble reusing the old one but um, feel free to replace the, uh, the drain plug washer every time okay So closing the uh, drain cap and then of course later on tighten it to torque 
specification. And let me find the filter, which is right over here. So I'm gonna put the new filter on. But of course, before I do that, um, always coat top of your filter with uh, brand new oil. So that way, um, it doesn't leak or it actually creates a nice vacuum seal okay so always coat a silicone ring with fresh oil and i'm basically just going to use my finger to coat it so that's brand new oil pretty slippery now um, but <coughs> excuse me it's nicely coated so now I'm gonna install this filter back onto the uh, back onto the car okay try to find the filter hole right over there and I'm just gonna Slowly and gently rotate it back on there. Of course, it's kind of tricky. You just need to align the thread, and once you're aligned, it actually goes in pretty easy. So now it's aligned. Super slippery. Might have to wipe the uh, surface down uh, before I tighten it. So right now it's, it's really hard to turn. Okay. Okay, so I've just finished tightening everything under the hood. I mean, under the car. Now I'm gonna go back to the top and uh, just start fill uh, filling the uh, the engine oil into the uh, into the engine. Of course, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the funnel always helps. And I'm gonna get my oil and start pouring. And uh, the entire car requires uh, around five quarts uh, of oil. So you should be able to use most of those. And once I finish about pouring almost 80% uh, of the oil in, I'm gonna lower the car from uh, the stand, the jack, and uh, have it level, and then measure the oil level uh, from the top, and then from the actual dip right over here, and then we just fill as needed until we reach the uh, desired level of the oil level. And take your time. Because if you pour too fast, it's going to overflow. Alright, so I'm about almost finished. I'm going to actually lower the car and measure slowly and uh, um, see how much oil I need to add. So I'm gonna check the oil level from the oil dip.
basically I'm just cleaning this I'm gonna put it back in and see where the oil level is at So we need to fill out the rest of the oil back into the, uh, the engine. Let it sit for a little bit and I'm going to check again. Alright, now you can see it's coming back up to the, uh, the middle part, which is the mark part. Um, looks like I can still fill in a little more, uh, just to fill it to the top of the little mark and then oil change is complete. Of course, after everything's done, uh, reset your oil change reminder in your car, uh, which I'm going to show you in a little bit. Also take into consideration that the oil filter needs a few more needs more oil to be circulated inside so um, once I start and start the uh, engine and let it run for a little bit the oil level might dip a little more so this one can is definitely enough to cover uh, whatever you need uh, for an oil change but um, just to make sure you don't overfill the oil make sure it's at the uh, maximum level but don't ever overfill the oil because it's all gonna come out from the air filter the part which is going to be really nasty. So it looks about, looks like the oil level is about right at this moment. I'm going to go ahead and start the car, let it warm up, turn it off and recheck after about 10 minutes and see where the oil level is actually at. Of course, uh, don't forget to close the oil cap after you finish um, putting I'm going to start the engine and warm up it. And while, while we're doing that, um, excuse me, I'm going to show you guys how to reset the oil life indicator. Alright, so we're inside the car and because my oil needs to be changed, the oil life reminder just keeps on. So uh, hit the reset button, keeps pressing it, just keep pressing. It takes a while for it to um, go into the reset mode. Keep pressing. And after about, I guess, 10, 10 seconds, it starts to flash. So you, you um, leave back your finger and you re-push it back in and keep holding it and it will reset so keep holding keep holding oh 100 so now it's done uh, i can go back into your normal uh, gauge mode all right so everything's done here um and as you can see the car temperature right now is about right i'm gonna turn off the car now and uh in 10 minutes come back and do a final check on the oil level to make sure everything's right and then um, I would have to say the oil change um, is completed um, basically it's a, it's a very simple task um, everybody can do it at home um, and save a lot of money and be able to use better quality oil um, so those are all the plus sides of changing your own oil uh, in your car all right, so um, this concludes the video, and uh, I hope you guys um, found this video useful. Uh, if you do, please uh, hit the like or subscribe button, and uh, I'll have more similar contents coming out um, in my channel. Thank you so much, and take care.